Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, December 31st, the last day of 2023. And interestingly, today's date, 12-31-23, is 1-2-3-1-2-3. So the frustrated uh, number theorist in me finds that fascinating. It's completely pointless, but... Ah, so, day is off to a good start. It is a nice day here, a little bit cloudy, not too cold. Odd for December, actually. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, this winter is so far teasing us. We've had some really cold mornings and some surprisingly warm afternoons, and we'll see what happens. So, today I am going to be enjoying my Phil Rivera pot with the last of the 2022 blend. I hope that's right. Uh, no, yep, it is. So this is, uh, if you don't know, every year I start a jar where I just take anything that I've enjoyed smoking, I take the last of the tin, the last bowl of the tin, and put it in that jar. So the rules are I have to like it. It cannot be Haunted Bookshop because then I just have a big jar of Haunted Bookshop. And it can't be an aromatic or a heavy Latakia blend because those will dominate. And uh, it's been interesting every year. So I will be starting the 2023 blend, which is now in a jar waiting for me to start it uh, tomorrow, New Year's Day. And I'll talk about that next weekend, so next Sunday. Uh, and if you don't know, I mean, I, I do this every year, and I do a fairly in-depth, well, not in-depth video, but I, I explain, you know, I list all the tobaccos that have gone into it and then talk about the flavor profile. I'm not going to go back and list the tobaccos that are in this because it would be boring and uh, really unimportant because ain't much left of it. Actually, hmm. <laughs> I forgot this is a fairly small bowl, so this is not going to be the absolute last of it, but I will finish this today. There's maybe another another pipe's worth in there. So, let's go ahead and get this lit. Let me put the lid back on before I spill it. Because I have been clumsy as all get out the past couple of days. And I don't want to I don't want to make things worse than they already are. using Jack Frost for the last time this year. Mm. I really enjoy doing this. It's it's not if it's not your thing, it's not your thing. I don't like the idea of just putting everything you know, the last bits of stuff. Uh, it just becomes to me, it's always been the case where if you put something you don't like in a jar of tobacco, no matter how much other stuff you put in there, you taste the thing you don't like. So, I limit it to things I like. And I don't want to steal any thunder from next weekend, but uh, I'm guessing it's going to be the same thing. I'm always surprised at how Virginia forward this blend is. And it's nice. So... I have it once or twice a month during the year, and then uh, try to finish it up by the end of the year and start the new jar in the in the in January first of the following year. So it's a fun little part of the hobby that I enjoy doing. All right, so yeah, I'm I'm clumsy. I'll, I'll tell you a quick story about that. So I've got a a desk here off to the side, and it's got it's one of these tiered things. So there's like a little shelf that holds a computer monitor and I got other stuff on that and then below it is where I have the keyboard and it just collects junk it's it's as long as there's space for the keyboard and the mouse I can work here and so you know stuff just piles up and it becomes a bit chaotic and right now it is chaotic uh, so yesterday I was trying to, I was sharpening a knife I was sharpening my pocket knife and I wanted to test it so I wanted to get a little piece of paper 
Not that that means anything, but it, it's it's the difference between incredibly dull and sharp enough. And I'm rustling around for a little tablet, and I've got my coffee on the desk, and I realized that something falls. I didn't know what it was, but I thought I'll deal with it after I get this piece of paper. I get the piece of paper, I test the knife, it's fine, and I turn and look at the coffee cup, and floating in the coffee cup is my Chromecast remote control. <laughs> So I actually had knocked it off that little shelf directly into a cup of coffee. Uh, this is actually a different controller. Uh, the one that went into the coffee is shot. Uh, I took it apart. I dried it thoroughly. It's all surface mount, so there's no moisture in there. It, it just it just fried. I, I got the batteries out as soon as I noticed it, but of course it had been floating in the coffee long enough for me to test the knife. So yeah, it's shot. So. Fortunately, I just bought two new Chromecast units um, for some TVs upstairs, and I got them because Google had a Christmas sale back before Christmas. So I stole one of the remotes from the from one of those boxes. I ordered a new one. Everything will be fine. But it was one of those days yesterday. The other thing I did yesterday, where did I put it? I finished up these. I'm really happy. Uh, these are, it's a set of salad, uh, spoon and fork. And I made these as a gift for someone that I work with. My plan, and by the way, just one more thing, because I'm, I'm a green geek. I love this transition back here. It's sapwood, but on cherry, the sapwood tends to be quite hard. But that white runs all the way down. And this provides a really cool contrast with the rest of the, the paddle. So, yep. Spoon and fork for mixing salads or whatever you want to do with them. Uh, this is the first time I've made this kind of a fork. Uh, only the second time I've made this kind of a spoon. But I'm pretty happy with the way they turned out. The reason I'm showing you these is, uh, well, one to brag, but... My plan was to, I started my vacation on the 14th, and my plan was to spend that weekend making those. And then I was going to take them into work and leave them on the person's desk um, so that they'd have it for Christmas. Well, obviously that didn't happen, and the reason it didn't happen was I made a prototype spoon and asked my wife for her opinion on it, and you know this story, I've already told it, she then said, oh, can you make spatulas like you made for me and I said yeah and I said, oh can you make them for my family I need seven and I said sure when do you need them by and she said like three days from now so I then went into spatula making mode I only got five of them done in time so I'm still working on two more which I'll probably finish up today so that's taken up a, a big chunk of my time I to be honest took a couple days off just because I needed to take a couple days off and uh, all I wanted to do during this vacation which began on the 14th so it's been what 16 17 days now I wanted to make a set of drawers for my chest of drawers that I've been building all year and I wanted to paint the extension of this wall down there and even I bought the paint that's the only thing I've done so, yeah, it just, it flew by, and I feel like I've wasted the time. I didn't, you know, I was, I was pretty much either actively doing something or getting some much-needed relaxation. But it just, it just flew by, and it feels like I, I lost the time. Uh, I sat down on Christmas Eve to write my annual... Uh, Christmas Eve blog post, which if you haven't seen it, there's a post. If you go to my page, you can find it. Or go to my website, canerodpipes.com. There's a blog link there. You can, you can find it. Um, I sat down to write this, and I thought, oh, I'm going to write about this and that and this and that. And then I read last year's post, and I realized that most of the things I was going to write about actually occurred in 
2022. And I thought, well, how is that possible? What happened to 2023? What, what did I do? And I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. This year, it's like a lost year. And part of that's because I've been really, really busy at work. Um, it, especially the, the second half of the year uh, became a real nightmare dealing with some HR issues with a particular individual and changes in strategy and all kinds of stuff you don't need to hear about. But it was stressful. Uh, towards the end of the year, I wasn't sleeping well. I'm still not sleeping right. I got to get my sleep schedule rejiggered because I'm it's all screwed up. Uh, yeah, and I think that just was it. I mean, I just was absorbed by that. I'd come home, I'd eat, and I'd fall asleep, and uh, get up in the morning and start working again. So, 2023 was a lost year for me. I shouldn't overstate that. I mean, I did, you know, we did some fun stuff. We went on vacation. We, um, yeah, we, my wife and I did have good times during the year. I didn't, uh, it's not like I didn't do anything here in the shop. I actually have made quite a bit of progress on some, on some stuff. I, be, I learned to turn bowls, which I'm thrilled with. Um, yeah, so there's, there's a lot of stuff that happened, but at the same time, it just doesn't seem like a year's worth of stuff. So, here I am, looking at 2024, coming at me like a freight train, and uh, thinking, not resolutions, because I don't like them, I, I think we, we just use it as an excuse to virtue signal and then do nothing for the rest of the year. Uh, but what am I going to do differently, I guess? Uh, what, what would I like to do differently? Um, for me, I think I really have to do a better job with the whole work-life balance thing. I can't do all the things I want to do in a couple of weeks at the end of the year because I had vacation. I can't rely on that. Um, I can't work 14 hour days. It, I just can't do that anymore. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna work less and play more. I guess is how I'm how I'm thinking about it. Of course, for me, play is work too. But that's what I like to do. Time definitely moves faster as you get older. I don't know why exactly. I mean, there's some theories and I understand them, but I, I don't quite know at a personal level why it seems to go so much faster. Uh, but it does. It really does. So if you're a young feller, Keep that in mind. Make make the most of it while you can. Cherish every minute and don't put off things because you wind up like me trying to do everything at three weeks at the end of the year and getting nothing done. Don't put off the things you want to do in order to do the things you have to do. Of course, you still have to do those things, but find a balance. And as you're finding that balance, keep in mind that What's important is important. And yes, it's important to be able to pay the mortgage or to pay the rent or to buy your groceries, of course. But, you know, in my case, I'm a salaried employee. 
Nobody cares if I work eight hours a day or 14 hours a day. Nobody cares if I work on Saturday and Sunday or five days a week. It, it's entirely up to me. I feel better because I get the work done and I feel, I feel less pressure on that side of things, but at what expense? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing what I have to do at the expense of what's actually important. If you don't know, Stephen Covey was great at this whole idea of balance, and he's got a little matrix of important versus urgent. And uh, it's it's fascinating to think about. You can find YouTube videos of, of Stephen Covey uh, talking about seven habits of highly effective people. Great book. Uh, very inspirational speaker who unfortunately died a few years ago uh, at a fairly young age. Anyway, check him out. Uh, didn't think I'd be talking about Stephen Covey. You never know. You just never know. Speaking of that, we had a wild... Uh, <laughs> Wild live stream on Friday night. That went places I never expected. We were talking about everything from the obligatory Ginger versus Marianne all the way up to radial polarization of, uh, I'm sorry, radial polarization of radio signals. There we go. Um, yeah, it's, it's fascinating. Good time. Well, I think I'm going to uh, tie this up because I've got to get on with my day, uh, which involves making some spatulas. The last two that I'm going to make for a long time. And then getting back to the stuff I want to do. So with that, friends, I'm, I wish you a very happy New Year. I hope you and yours all have a fantastic New Year's Eve. Uh, be smart. Enjoy. Be careful driving and all that good stuff. I wish you all the best of health and happiness in the new year. And I hope you are blessed as we go forward into 2024. Make the most of it. I will see you in the new year. I will be back this coming Friday with a live stream. And uh, yeah, I got some thoughts about some new stuff to do. Uh, video wise so keep watching subscribe like all that stuff comment I love comments <laughs> take care of yourself and until we speak again I'll look forward to talking to you all again very soon goodbye now